Thank you. Uh, Secretary Geithner, on September 14th, uh, you and Secretary Paulson met with AIG uh, to discuss Lehman's failure and their uh, worsening condition? Uh, we had a series of meetings uh, in the days preceding the action by the Fed on the 16th. On the 16th, okay. With AIG and a range of other financial institutions. As the Chairman said, you know, the, the world was going through a... a oh. uh, yeah, I, I understand that, but you met with them, and as a result of that, those meetings, September 16th, uh, there was a government intervention uh, supervised and, and coordinated and led by the New York Fed. And you were president of the New York Fed. I was president of the New York Fed. Uh, at September 16th, the government became the 79.9% owner of AIG. Is that that's correct? That is correct. Right. Uh, then there was a $85 billion uh, government uh, guarantee that went to AIG or funds. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, then on October the 8th, uh, a good amount of that money uh, was paid to the counterparties. Is that correct? Well, again, the purpose of the intervention was to prevent default by AIG because the, our judgment was the consequence of default would have been catastrophic to the American economy. Sure. And so I, I understand that. So AIG was able to, as a result of the intervention, to meet a full range of its obligations as a large, complex financial institution. Sure, I understand that. But what I, what I am saying is that uh, you took over on September 16th, then on October the 8th, began to pay the counterparties off. Well, again, throughout that period of time, and this was critically important to stability of the financial system, we wanted to make sure AIG was able to meet its commitments. I understand that. To, and you, to pensioners, to, to retirees, to... Municipalities. Municipalities. To banks. But what I'm saying is, within about two weeks, these payments, are, or three weeks, payments were made to the counterparty. I'm, I'm not... Well, I think probably within hours, technically. Within hours. Within minutes, okay. probably. All right. Within hours. Now... Uh, you know, there's been now a total of somewhere over $50 billion worth of these payment to counterparties. Uh, I'm, I'm very interested in that. I mean, in, we, these payments to counterparties, these were parties that uh, took a risk in entering into agreements with AIG, were they not? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, and uh, these were credit default swaps, securities lending, things of that nature, which and you can lose money on. Well, uh, any insurance contract written by AIG pose risks to the person who bought that insurance contract. Sure, and a credit default swap is sort of a, I guess you could call it a form of insurance, you but what I'm yeah. saying is it was an agreement between two parties, and right, just, uh, AIG defaulted, or was on the verge of defaulting. Well, AIG was on the verge of default. So, okay. again, any of the contracts AIG had with millions of people who bought insurance from it, from the... Well, I understand those people in those contracts with people, you know, retired teachers, et cetera. But now, I'm focusing on the counterparties, where they were paid 100% of everything AIG owed them. Is that correct? Uh, I'm not sure if technically that's right, but again... The purpose of the intervention was... No, I'm not talking about the purpose of the intervention. No, but, but, the, but the, result, so the result of the intervention was AIG was able to meet its obligations under... But, its but what I'm saying, uh, Mr. S uh, Chairman, or Secretary, is that AIG's counterparties were paid 100 cents on the dollar. The, the people that had contractual obligations from AIG, yeah. from the purpose who bought an insurance protection product or a basic insurance product, well, we're, we're, were we're not talking about insurance policies here. I'm talking about no, but but this is very important. I'm talking about the foreign banks, Goldman Sachs. They were paid 100 cents on the dollar, were they not? Again, that was the purpose and result of. Well, I'm not talking about. Well, I'm just saying they were paid 100. 100 percent of what they were owed. The AIG that, was able to meet its commitments and met its commitments. At 100 percent. It fully met its obligation. Sure, yes. fully met its obligation. Yes. Well, my question to you, and I'm not, was there any discussion over uh, a haircut or a 95 percent, taking 95 percent or 90 percent as full payment? We explored at that time every possible means to reduce the drain on their resources. 
Well, including, me... including what you referred to. But again, because we have no legal mechanism in place for dealing with this like we deal with the bank, we did not have the ability to selectively to selectively impose losses on their counterparts. Well, you were 80 percent owner. No, I'm sorry. The gentleman has now exceeded the five minutes, as I said before. The last person speaking during the five minutes uh, will uh, complete a sentence, and we will move on. Thank you. Mr. Geithner, uh, you want to complete the sentence? Uh, I've forgotten where I was in my sentence. but Well, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> then we will now go to Mr. Kent.